Now that you understand what chromosomes are and their role in the cell, you can actually understand why they're around. Because think about it, there must be an advantage to the existence of chromosomes, otherwise there would be no way that the chromosomes would even evolve in the first place. And some of the advantages of including chromosomes are, for example, that they increase variation. Think back to meiosis doing the separation of homologs and how the fact that you have genes and separated in different chromosomes will increase the assortment of, of genes into different areas. Remember, if you didn't have chromosomes, if all genes were in one single DNA molecule, you would have basically linkage for every single gene in the body. So that would be a, a greater chance for traits to appear together. And so chromosomes will increase variation within the population, especially uh, in among animals which are doing sexual reproduction. And in a, that will also lead to more species because chromosomes can also lead to speciation as if there are problems. So for example, in plants, when a nuploidy happens and polyploidy takes place and a, lot, and a plant has now a different number of chromosomes, it will not cross with the same or plant that it original, originally crossed and now you have a different species. The same thing can be said about evolution wise in terms of animal evolution. A lot of times the differences between animals can be traced in the difference between the chromosomes numbers and size. And so when the chromosome numbers and size changes too much, you are no longer able to sexually produce. Because think about it, in order to successfully sexually produce, you have to pair with someone who has the same number of chromosomes as you do. For example, we are humans, we have make gametes which are 23 chromosomes um, in number, and another human will have 23 chromosomes as well, so that when we put it together, you make 46. But if you cross with someone who has less than 23 or more than 23, then you're not going to make the 46 that usually are part of the human genome. So the carrier type will be different and perhaps not viable. Look what happens with Down syndrome with just one extra chromosome. And so you see the number of chromosomes helps separate species. And um, basically whenever there is a change on the structure or number of chromosomes in the, within the population, you basically lead to the formation of a new species. Chromosomes also help with the integrity of the DNA code. My, by maintaining the genes in chromosomes, you actually allow them to stay intact longer, especially during the copying process. It makes the process more copy process more manageable, and it also makes it easier to move the chromosomes during the anaphase part of the cell cycle. And also, by limiting the size of the chromosome to a, to a linear molecule that's finite and it has many, many other ones like it around, you're actually going to make it more, less likely for the DNA to become jumbled up and for mutations such as uh, translocation and deletions and things like that to actually happen. Also, crossing over would be impossible if you didn't have the idea of homolog chromosomes. So yet another example of chromosomes increasing variation. So when it's all said and done, chromosomes exist to protect the DNA and to at the same time to enhance variation within the DNA code of a population. And that is why chromosomes exist. And I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next video.